Hello everyone, it's Shauna and Faith with Godly Family Discipleship and we are here once again this week. I believe this is our fifth week video this week, a uh, video devotion. I hope you've already read the uh, written devotion for today and that you have read 1 Corinthians chapter 11 a few times this week. Um, but we want to talk about verses 17 through 22 and we'll get started here. Um, who doesn't love a good party? It appears that the Corinthian church uh, right. really enjoyed having a party, and they were looking for excuses probably to even do that, uh, which uh, comes to the point of correction here with the Apostle Paul. Um, we know that communion is part of the Holy Sacrament. It is um, something that we partake in in the church with a lot of reverence um, and a lot of... Uh, um, admiration to Jesus, um, what that the sacrifice they made. Right, he, he exactly. To um, he told us that yeah. we should do that um, in remembrance of him. So, But we find that the Apostle Paul is having to give some correction to the Corinthian church about just how they're carrying on uh, with uh, what should be holy and sacred. So if you don't know what communion is, that's when Christians partake of the, the grape juice or the wine. And the bread, which is symbolic of Jesus' body, and the wine or the juice is symbolic of his blood that was shed. So basically we're remembering what happened on Calvary upon the cross, what he did, and what the, and, and then Jesus told us to do this often in remembrance of him. Mm -hmm. But the thing that happened is Corinthian church, it, it lost their luster, they lost their respect for him. Uh, they were using it as an excuse to come together and throw a party at church and to eat too much and get drunk. Yeah. And uh, what the Apostle Paul let them know is, is that was never the intention. And, and a lot of times you have to think that in churches, uh, especially in modern churches, that things become ritualistic. We do it because we think we're supposed to do it, right. and our hearts aren't right. Mm -hmm. uh, but let me encourage you that any time you ever partake in communion, that you ensure that your heart is correct. Mm -hmm. And we'll deal with that in later lessons. But the thing about it is, is it's so meaningful. It's so... Uh, so cleansing, such a blessing to be able to partake it's in if, if you do it right mm -hmm. and your heart's right and you search your heart and you go into it and you actually think of what those elements mean because those elements just don't, aren't just bread and aren't just a drink. That is what Jesus did for us. Mm -hmm. The only way that Pete can taste salvation and not death is because that Jesus' body was broken for me, that his blood was shed for me, and that he died upon that cross over 2,000 years ago. And that's something that's sacred. That's something that shouldn't lose its luster. And that's something that we should respect and honor all the time. Absolutely. Um, there's power in communion. There's power in knowing that, um, I mean, connecting it even with Isaiah chapter 53, knowing that um, um, all the things that Christ went through in order for us to have uh, comfort, for, for us to have our sins forgiven, for us to have healing, all those things that happened um, to him had purpose. Uh, everything that Christ went through, nothing was lost in it. Right. Everything was gained. It was for our victory. It had a purpose. That's right. It was for our victory. So we should never take uh, communion lightly. We should never take those things, that, the foot washing, those kind of things. We should never take it lightly because uh, we are doing something that Christ commanded us to do. And, and we need to also understand that, that it's representation of... Uh, of, of eternal, those things that, that are eternal and, and Christ's work for us, it, it'll be eternal because we'll live for eternity because of it. That's right. And we have to respect and we have to honor that. And uh, going forward this week, uh, continue to read the scripture. Mm -hmm. the, the rest of this chapter we'll talk about will have to do with communion and the Lord's Supper. So uh, let's, let's dive in, look into that, search it out in other scriptures, we'll read it in other books. Uh, go back to the book of Matthew and the Gospels and read what Jesus did with his disciples. Study it out. Search it out in your family and, and just realize the sacredness of it. So going forward, uh, re keep reading. Uh, we want you to edify yourself every day. Every day. Study that word. Exalt God. Absolutely. Uh, encounter God every day. Make an effort that you spend time with God every day. Yes. And when you get out in this world, let people know that you love Jesus. Absolutely. Until next time, God bless you. God bless you.